Hello and welcome to yet another Let's Play on Total War Free Kingdoms. The Zhang Yan campaign has now finished and I put up a vote on the community tab of my channel recently um, where I had you guys vote between the three governors and it was Ma Tang who uh, eventually won the vote relatively convincingly. I think he was actually further ahead at some point. It's actually crawled back a little bit. Kong Rong had 27% of the votes, Liu Biao had 31% of the votes and Ma Tang had 42% of the votes. So he definitely was uh, significantly far ahead. But anyway, Ma Tong is going to be. I'm going to talk over this woman talking in the background. I should also mention that I am using a single mod, but this mod is just a camera mod. I'll put it in the description as well. Um, but I, I like to at least disclose the fact that I am using a mod. Uh, but it just lets me zoom out further and closer in battles, essentially. Uh, and that's all I'm using right now. So, Ma Tong, protector of the West, starting position or situation is hard. He is a vanguard. He gets plus 10 melee damage for shock cavalry, plus 100% income from silk and spice, and minus 50% upkeep for Qiang units. Which is pretty good because Qiang units are incredibly over. Well, I don't know if overpowered is the right word, but they are incredibly strong. Uh, they have fatigue immunity, which just is insane. Um, also, as Ma Tong, you can get up to 100% upkeep cost reduction. Uh, I will say this, I said this in the, uh, the faction vote video as well. I will likely at some point in the future be doing a cavalry only challenge. I've done a ton of challenges on Shogun 2 and I'll be doing a ton of challenges on Free Kingdoms as that is now the main Total War game that I'll be playing for the next years, probably. Let's be honest. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll, I'll be doing loads of challenges in, in the future. I'm not going to do that right now, but I will still probably ha have very heavily uh, calf focused armies, at least in the late game. Um, when they are quite cheap because of the horse pastures. But anyway, so uh, our faction specialization, we don't have a unique resource, but we do have foraging and supplies. Our armies forage for food when encamped, and we have an increased military supplies bonus, which is nice. Uh, our playstyle focuses cavalry and military supplies, which yeah, definitely makes sense with these incredibly good uh, Chiang hunters, uh, raiders, and marauders. Our unique unit is the Xiliang supply lines, which uh, apparently from uh, I mean, I made a faction overview on this on this guy I probably should know these things, but um, I didn't even until recently somehow I missed it I realized that there was garrison buildings, but apparently uh, I've heard people complain that uh, with Ma Tong the Xiliang supply lines actually replaces the garrison building and you don't get garrisons essentially or you don't get the well, you get garrisons, but you don't get the garrison building which kind of sucks, but uh, so be it and of course, we are uh, loyal to the Han, so we cannot declare ourselves Emperor. We have to wait for the other ones to do so, and then we take their seats, essentially. Our noteworthy characters are Pang De and Ma Chao. Of course, everyone loves themselves a bit of Ma Chao. Uh, he's not actually come of age yet in the beginning of the campaign, but I think he does so, like... I can't remember if it was, like, turn 12 or 13 or something. It's very early on in the campaign, so it's not a problem. Uh, anyway, we are of course playing on Legendary Legendary because that's what I do and I'm playing Romance mode. I'm probably going to stick to Romance for a very long time because that's what I enjoy. Let's do it. Hanshi Di 天下乱贼
，确实如此。友军兴衰无常，天下可不能如此。主公长久以来，为我大汉镇守西陲，而如今更当注重眼前之敌。OK， I will establish your power. Lord Ma Tong, Dong Zhu has fled west with the Emperor, yet he remains the best option for maintaining the Han for now. You two must secure your borders against any and all threats, including the ne nearby Yellow Turbans. Han Sui may be a loyal ally, but if he shows weakness, then seek others. There is no denying Dong Zhu's growing desperation. However, so if he, however, so if he becomes vulnerable, you must be ready to move against him to defend the Empire as you are sworn to. All right, and then we just got our regular missions, which I'm not going to bother reading. So, any good stuff? Oh, actually, that that's eh, a bit meh early on, but it's not bad overall. Not the greatest uh, starting ancillaries, but that's all right. So, I will immediately say that I am aware, uh, I've seen this pop up many times, that you can get uh, Lu Bu to rule your faction on, like, turn two or three or something. Um, I believe what people have told me, or what I've read, uh, is that you essentially... Divorce your wife, and then you get Ma, uh, Ma Tong killed as soon as possible. Like just run him into battle and get him killed several times, and then you, uh, and then you basically marry your wife, who is then your leader for the moment, since you, um, since your heir hasn't come of age yet, um, and then you marry her to Lu Bu, and then you make him your faction leader, something like that. I don't know exactly how it works, or your faction heir or something, and they kill your, off your wife. I, I don't know. It's something along those lines. Which is cool, it's, it's cool and all, but I'm not going to be doing that because I don't want to uh, cheese the game like that, if you will. So, we're just going to play the game normally, which is what I tend to do. Uh, Ma Tong starts with uh, Pong De, who is a like minor uh, character, so he's got the plus 10 resolve, plus 15 instinct, and plus 5 of 40, so he's got total 30 stats as opposed to 15, like the basic generals do. And then his faction-wide bonus is plus 12% melee damage for all shock cavalry, but he's not a faction leader or anything, so it doesn't matter. Ma Tong, unfortunately, um, has Cruel, which really sucks. It's kind of one of the reasons why I didn't necessarily want to play him for a while, because it's such an annoying thing, especially early on in the campaign. Um, he is luckily already quite old, so it's not going to last forever. Um, but yeah, basically, must, minus 5, 4 public order is just kind of difficult to deal with early on. So there's going to be rebellions a lot more than in my other campaigns. And by that, I mean in the other campaigns, I barely, basically never had any. But now I definitely will. Uh, other than that, yeah, he's, he's not the greatest general, but he does have those uh, good uh, abilities. He also has a poor background, which kind of sucks. I don't remember if Ma Chao has that. Um, I believe he does as well. I'd imagine so. Um, but yeah, so you have minus 25% income from family estates, which makes up to, or basically means we are losing 500 bucks per turn from him being my faction leader. Uh, yet another reason to kill him off, I suppose. We also only have our Ma Tong's armor. We don't have any unique weapons or anything. We just have a family spear, which is a nice weapon. Don't get me wrong, but it's not great right now. I'll give him the minus 5% cor uh, percent corruption, which currently I'm assuming we have literally 0%, so it's not going to do much. But hey, what are you going to do? Yeah, zero percent corruption. It will do something in the long in the long run. And then we have cunning and a forty, which I'm sure I'll give to someone at some point. Um, other than that, we are we start with the silk trader as well as the horse pastures here, so we can definitely build uh, these buildings up right away. I'm, I would will want to probably get these ones up as soon as possible because I do like the cheap calf. The cavalry is of course super. Uh, yeah, like I said earlier, amazing uh, for. Um, Ma Tong. Also, I believe Ma Chao might even get some, some cool bonuses for Cav, but Ma Tong already does as well with the melee damage for shock cavalry uh, and upkeep for uh, reduction as well, which is nice. Um, what else we got? Got our army that has yet to be moved. We need to build some stuff. We also have some trade, I believe, to start with, um, which is between Han Sui and Dong Zhou. The Dong Zhou one is worth more. And Han Sui is kind of blocked in there, so I don't know if he's going to actually be trading with anyone uh, like, if he even can trade with anyone other than me. So I might just get the Dong Zhou one first, make sure I have that one, uh, and then I can just get the one with Han Sui in a couple of turns when I unlock the next trade route. Having said that, however, uh, I'm not sure if that one's going to be available. He only has one available to, be, to begin with. Dong Zhou has three available, and he's at war with most people around him, so he might not be trading with people anyway. Um, so I might actually be able to just... Well, to be fair... 
it's not many people around him. It's mostly just people, like obviously the major factions all to the east. So maybe he will be having tr uh, free trade agreements immediately. I'm not sure. I kind of wish I knew this. Uh, is he or Zhang Lu? I don't think he is. No, he's probably going to be trading with Zhang Lu. And then, I don't know. Um, but Han Sui cannot really trade with anyone except for the Han Empire. But he's not bordering them right now. He's going to take a while before he... Actually, no, he is. Never mind. Uh, although that's across a river, so I don't... Oh no, he's, he's boarding them there too. Alright, fuck it, we're getting trade with you, and then hoping that we can still get trade with um, the big man later on. Let's just, let's just do that. You don't have any ancillaries, do you? You do actually have ancillaries, but that's too much, unfortunately. Well, you've got some good shit here too. Um, unfortunately... I guess I could actually... If I wanted to trade this clay dog that I have available... For something like that, which is definitely worth more to me. Just a straight swap is not a bad idea, honestly. This is actually pretty good as well for Ma Tong being a vanguard, but I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take that one. Just a straight swap. Oh, it's actually, he raised that one more, uh, he values that one more than I do. Or more than the one I'm gonna give him, at least. Um, which makes me wonder, would you, would you give me that other one for the same price? No, it's the same for him. All right, then I'll take the the, the nine chapters of the math mathematical art. Sure. Okay, let me just see how much two point two uh, would be worth in terms of this. Oh, there it was, right, like eighty eight or something. Okay, actually not even that eighty seven. All right, so I could get eighty seven per turn if I don't do this trade uh, for ten turns. So eight hundred and seventy bucks, which is not bad, but it's not great. So I think I'm just gonna let that be. Uh, he's not even going to pay me a regular amount of money. Well, I don't know. The clay dogs, yeah, the clay dogs, pretty trash. It's good for trading, though, like getting deals through. That's that's true, I suppose. But now nah, I'm good. What is your one food worth to you? Too much. All right, fuck it. Let's do the trade swap. The trade swap. Could could have gotten a little bit more money, but I think having that available is just better. This thing is going to be very good for. Um, Early uh, cunning dudes, early strategists. There you go. Speaking of, I'm not available right now, but perhaps next turn. Okay, so that's our trade done. Uh, reforms. What's the reform we start with? I believe it's uh, it's this one. Okay. Oh yeah, plus four military supplies. Plus, of course, we already start with more military supplies from our faction thing, so we have tons of supplies, which is nice. Um, I guess beyond that, we got to do some battle. So let's uh, start by attacking this army here. I could out of all this one, uh, but I guess we'll just fight it. First battle of the campaign. I like to fight the first battle, despite this being just a clear out of all. So um, there's no archers in this battle, which should be okay. I do also know from experience that uh, we are going to take the town to our south, and then in the end turn sequence, similar to when you're playing as Gong Du, uh, if you're playing as Gong Du Ma Tong, it attacks you in the end turn sequence. If you're playing as Ma Tong. Uh, and you take the town, then Gong Du will attack you in the interim sequence. So we, we want to lose as few men here as possible because we're going to have to fight another battle to take the town. And then we got to deal with um, what's his face afterwards as well. Uh, Gong Du. So we got to be careful. I might not even take the town, I might just siege it out or something. I'm not sure exa exactly yet what I'm going to do. But anyway, we have range units and they don't, so I. I wouldn't be surprised that they come towards me. Yeah, they're going to come towards me. Does he want a jewel? He does actually want a jewel. He is a healer. Well, he wants a jewel either one of you. Um, what's your ability? Minus morale. You've got hamstring. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll have Pang the jewel. Why not? Let's go, boys. I'm also gonna, gonna send him in there right away, start murdering people. Might be able to make him ride very easily. Nice, on the first bout, that's always good. Cav over here as well, can run him all day long because of fatigue immunity. Not even fatigue resistance, just straight up immunity. They they cannot... I might want to use that before he does anything. They cannot get, it, uh, get fatigued. It's just so, so good. I don't even need my, need my infantry here. You seem to be winning that one pretty clearly as well. 
Yeah, counter charge me, do it. Don't form a line, don't do that. Too late. Archers, maybe, uh, maybe don't do that. Hello? Okay, pretty backspace didn't work. Alright, get out of here. There we go. Alright, so it's just that one now. I'm almost tempted to run away, just so my units can just kill him, but I think this will be fine. Alright. Uh, you can just hang around here, and so can you. I have nothing I can really do here, unfortunately. No uh, no buffs I can give him or anything. Oh, I guess you can hamstring again. So there's something I can do. I was wrong! Yeah, it's too long. It's taking too long, so we're not going to be full health. Well, you know what? If we don't lose too much HP, we might actually end up being full health after all, to be honest. Plus, there might be some HP to get... Um, to get from the replenishment after this battle as well, if we're lucky. What a battle. I should have just done this the entire time. Although, then again, I might be missing my hamstring ability. Hey, we did it! Alright. That was alright. Uh, I didn't actually check how much HP he had afterwards, but I'm sure he's mostly okay. Again, there's another battle waiting for us, and then a battle in the end turn sequence, which means it's gonna happen before we replenish. Lost three men. Alright, well, that's pretty good. Yeah, they're both both totally fine. I could take the 2% replenishment. 100 income isn't that great. Although early on it's not terrible. 2% isn't really that great either. I mean, I didn't lose any men. It just healed them up, I suppose. But no, I'll take the money. I'm willing to risk that. Uh, Alright, we got morale and such. We gotta take Voodoo to town. Right, so what's the garrison in here? See, that's pretty rough. I feel like I can't really take that. Well, I can take it with this army, that's not really the problem, but then we have to deal with Gongdu afterwards as well, and I think that's just too much. So maybe I'll just siege him out, and maybe they'll sally out, and then at least I'll have an easier field battle, but we'll see. Uh, first battle victory, leveled up on Ma- or didn't level up, we got experience on Ma Tong. Wang De is dead. Wang dead, more like. <laughs> that's terrible. I will see myself out. Um... Yep, yeah, alright. So... Oh God, it takes a turn before they take an attrition as well. That's even more horrible. I don't really want to fight this. The the arrow towers would just, just destroy me and then, you know, we could win this. That's not really even the problem. Although, it would be actually be quite tough as well. But we'd be able to win it, but then Gongdu just shows up and murders me. And that is not a bad army either. I mean, look at that shit. He's got some of that good stuff. The worst of my counters are not bad either. We don't have a particularly good way of dealing with those either, so this actually will be tough regardless. Um, they aren't allied though, I believe. He can swoop in and take the town, but I'm assuming he can't do that when it's under siege. Also, the place is almost rebelling. Uh, okay, we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll be okay. Either way, since I'm not going to do that, I can build buildings. Can I afford both? I cannot. Okay, well in that case, let's think about this, because I think this just instantly gives me more money. We, of course, got a 100% income uh, increase from Silk, so an extra 50 from here is actually extra 100, which is a lot better. Uh, this doesn't make me any money, but it just gives me more uh, upkeep cost reduction, which it makes me money too, but let's just go with that one for now. It's more useful. We only have two units of calf. Um, and besides that, I think we're out of things to do, really. So let's move on to the next. Actually, I guess I, sp I suppose I could have a look at other quick deals I could potentially make. Get a non aggression pack with the Han Empire. I'm not really planning on declaring war on Dongzhou anytime soon. So I guess that might not be a bad idea. We already have a non aggression pack. The thing is, the better friends we become with him, the more other people will dislike me. Let's, I guess we can have a look at what this would be worth to him 2.6. You've probably got some ancillaries laying around as well. I guess every faction gets some at the beginning, like, you know, as per usual. Um, but um, that one's actually really good. Alright, what's this worth to you? 4.8? 6.0. That's just too much, man. I can't do that. Alright. Um, let's see, not aggression back with the Han Empire. Since we already have one with um, Dongzhou, we might as well get one with the Han Empire as well. That's not really worth a lot, though. What have you got? You got yourself a concubine. That's very nice. Man, I wish I had some of this stuff. Um, 
Nah, I think I'm good. If it doesn't make me any money, then there's not really any reason to do it. I mean, this this one, I guess, see how much money I can make from that. Because that could probably be a decent amount, but... Okay, I think that might be worth doing, actually. Big jump right there. Yeah, I think having... 283 bucks, so 2.8 grand, essentially. For a, uh, for a bit of military access. I mean, that's okay. It pisses other people off, but we're kind of in a corner anyway, so it doesn't really matter that much, at least for the moment. So I'll we'll take that one. And then I'm not going to get another question pack with Dana Empire. All right, let's see what happens. Gongdu. Did he move away? He might have. They didn't sally out either. Okay. So yeah, normally if you take it, he attacks right away, but I guess since we didn't take it, it didn't matter. Alright, now here's the unfortunate part, is because we're besieging this place, I can't actually recruit um, anything. Which is okay, because it makes me more money, but I would have preferred getting an army right now. Or at least a couple more units. I will probably recruit that Li Shu, though. Uh, he was from Zhang Lu before. He's quiet, humble, and ascetic. He looks pretty good. He's quite old, though. But he doesn't look that bad. Not the greatest ability right away, but no, yeah, I'll recruit this guy and get him into court. Make sure he doesn't slip away from me when getting taken by someone else. I guess I could technically recruit an, a raisin army. I could recruit him here and just run him over. That's not even a bad idea, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think that... Would I be able to get there in a single turn? No, definitely not. Take me at least... I mean, he'd be replenishing as well. Is that what I do? This is the problem, by the way. We have no nothing giving happiness right now, so over time, this is just going to rebel. It's going to take 24 turns, but it will happen. Um, You know what? I think that's not a bad idea. Let's get him over here. Let's recruit, like... Oh. One extra unit. I think I do want to go cross from it immediately, actually. Um, but it would probably, for the moment, still be worth getting a couple of these. Just to, I can always replace them across from them later on. Yeah, let's just do that. And then these three units, I'll probably run over next turn. Maybe I'll wait two turns, but yeah, run them over soon. Depending on whether this fight happens or not, I suppose. Alright. Um, that's, once again, all we can do, I think. Hey, are you full on... Yeah, I guess he is trading with... No, he's not. Oh, right, wait. Yeah, we just we don't have trade available, of course. So in a couple turns, when we can trade in two turns, yeah, we can we can get the one with Dongju as well. I think I made the right choice getting the one with Hansui first. <laughs> Still no Gongdu. Gongdu. And they're selling out now because otherwise they take attrition. That's fair enough. Alright, so we've got um, a whole bunch of melee infantry. No anti-cav, which is nice. A couple of yellow turban archers, which are okay. Um, yeah, should be fine. Let's do it. Just send Ma Tong in there to murder everyone. See, so, yeah, this is one of those factions where, like, normally when you st start with an old faction leader, like, for example, when you start with uh, Yuan Shao, <coughs> he's already quite old as well. I think he's actually similar age to Ma Tong. <coughs> Where's my voice going? Um, and it's kind of annoying because he dies and then you're stuck with just regular ordinary characters. You don't really, really start with anyone special. But with Ma Tong, if he dies, all of a sudden Ma Chao becomes our faction leader and that's pretty sweet. Because he's pretty good. So that's actually pretty nice. A lot of pretty things apparently. Alright. I'm going to use these guys heavily I think here. Um, yeah. Do I... Do I even bother using the forest? I guess I could. I think I'd rather just use the open field so my cav have got easy charges to make. Uh, they will definitely be coming towards me, so let's get you actually in here. Um, and I want to have my arcs up front here, actually. Alright, I wonder, do I just send Macho in there immediately? Start murdering everyone? Maybe not a bad idea, to be honest. He's a beast. And you may as well just join him. Alright. Eh, 
kind of want you further out, but I also need to be careful of the archers. Alright. Let's just get in there for now. Actually, I should probably wait until the archers get into range. That's probably a good idea. Are you coming toward... Yes, this unit's not hidden. Okay. Um... Am I... Do I care about that? I don't think so. I'm actually just going to keep going then. Okay, the archers appear to be coming towards this unit, so let's hide this one in the forest, at least so they turn around. Because that's not what we want. Okay, there is a unit in the forest here. Am I just... Yep, there it is. Okay, never mind. I'll keep going this way. Alright. Let's get in there, boys. That unit's hidden now, so they are going to be turning around, I would imagine. Alright. Let's get some demoralization going here. Instantly route all these dudes. Uh, are you guys going to turn back or what? You don't know my unit is there anymore. I mean, you probably have, you know, a memory. <laughs> Alright, there's a couple units routed already. Hamstring him up, boy. Okay, time to get you guys back as well. Time to get you guys over here too. Okay, man, my tongue is a beast. He's slaughtering everyone. Quite successfully, I should add. You're not so much a beast, but that's okay. Alright, get in there, son. You have improved in my estimations. We're being shot at. That's okay. Alright, here comes the charge. It's gonna be good. Goodbye, yellow turban archers. Goodbye. Couldn't even look at their numbers. Oh, shit, they're stationary. Good timing on that. I mean, to be fair, you can still charge into a stationary unit, it just won't be as effective. Might as well just cancel it and charge into something else. Speaking of, let's charge into them now. Yo, my tongue, keep him busy. That's not going to be the most effective charge, in fact. I don't think anyone even. Oh, hello. Well, how about you don't do that? Oh, that should actually do it as well. There's still that unit there. Let's get you guys out of there, actually. You have your hamstring ability available again. These guys are still getting shot, so that's all good. Unfortunately, no uh, fatigue immunity for my generals. That'd be pretty damn strong. Okay, let's get in there. Yes, countercharge me. That's exactly what I want. Thank you. Say goodbye to all of your unit. Uh, you guys get in there. You go kill them off. You need to get out of there because you're actually losing quite a few men now. I'm string these boys. We got another demoralized. No, not yet. Alright, I think that's it. Just uh, this one and that one. There you go. And then we want to kill off as much as humanly possible. Because, of course, this is a Sally, so we kill uh, enough of them, we can just get the town right away next turn. They are going to get away, unfortunately, I think. Let's try and get over there, but... It's going to be difficult. Uh, yeah, they're both gone. Let's actually just turn back and kill something else instead. Uh, you guys go kill that unit. You've killed them quite successfully. That one's already dead. We managed to reach that one and kill it off entirely, it looks like. And that one's dead as well. Alright. So, a couple dozen men survive, but that shouldn't be a problem when the other was all next turn. Or maybe the game will be generous and just give me the town anyway. But that's probably not going to happen. I mean, that one's still orange, so it's not that dead. Alright. That was good. Uh, I, ooh, I might actually see replenishment here. I, that's a lot of money as well. This early on in the game. Yeah, it's too much right now, actually. I feel like the replenishment might have been a better choice simply because, again, Gongdu is coming. But, eh. Expert's letter. That's a good item to trade. In fact, it's worth checking. I'm sure they've already given all their stuff away, but 
Yeah, they have. That would have been a great item to trade, but unfortunately, I was too late. All right, this should be another Zolka, I think. Yeah. I'm not going to bother fighting that, especially in the town. Five men lost and made, I don't know how much that was going to be, but probably like two bucks. Occupy that. And we got the support from the people. All right, so that's going to counteract at least our um, happiness for a little bit, so that's good. Um, we got some more bonus experience. Did you level up yet? No, still not. How close are you? Very close. That's the 500 experience close. I never even looked at all the starting abilities and stuff, by the way. But yeah, he's got charge bonus for his retinue. The Roar of the Beast, obviously. The melee damage for all shock half. And then something that's entirely fucking useless. But that's not too bad. Pong that has hamstring and flexibility. Oh, that actually might make him the better general. You get uh, replenishment. You get morale in enemy territory. Yeah, I'll make Pong then my general for now. Always feels a bit eh when you do that, but you know, gotta min max it. Ooh, a red stallion. Ooh, that's good for you. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. Alright. And we can't convert this because we have already got something building here. I can, however, build this up now. And this building is going to be. I also put my wife as, a, as an assignment, which is probably what I'll do, because I don't need her in here. Uh, they don't even like each other. Okay, perfect. Yeah, we'll shove her in here and do the supervised construction. And I think I'm going to run you over right away. You can get there in two turns. Although wondering if I could run there and force march stance. No, that barely seems to make a difference. Um... Yeah, lose out on the replenish, well, the, the mustering bonus of replenishment, yeah, which makes that basically pointless, but I think it's still better to have these guys over here now. And I think you guys need to be replaced with them, but I don't really have the money for that, so I think I'm okay with that for the moment. Again, Gungdu might be on the way, but luckily, since we're playing so close to him as Ma Tong, we do have the option, or the chat, the opportunity at least, to kill him off very early on in the campaign, which is also quite useful. Now, any diplomacy that can be done. Yellow Turban Rebels want peace. Zhang Lu wants non-aggression pact. I can't really promise that I'm not going to attack you sometime soon, so... I don't know. That's not going to make me any money, so... Also, is Dong Zhou trading with... No, still just the one. I saw he's trading with Zhang Lu, that's why I wanted to check. Uh, I could peace out with the, uh, the Rebel... Um, Yellow Turban Rebels, because there's no more around here anywhere. I don't know if this... I can't get anything out of it, though. But it makes it... Eh. Okay, there's two There's two things about this. One is that the less people I'm at war with, the stronger I seem, and the, the less likely it'll be that other people declare war on me. But the other side is that if I'm at war with Yellow Turban Rebels, everyone likes me more, because they all hate Yellow Turban Rebels. So there's kind of two ways, or two, two things about it. Uh, although it currently doesn't seem like anyone cares about my war with them, so maybe I will just peace out. They're not; they're no longer around here. I think they're just mostly in the east around here. So I think, yeah, let's just peace out. No reason to be at war with them anymore. There's nothing for me to gain from that war. Uh, and yeah, unless this has improved significantly, no, it definitely hasn't. It's gotten worse, in fact. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get in there next turn. I think we're gonna take some time replenish or re re retraining some of these dudes to be something else, and then we're gonna be golden. I think we're good to end the turn. We also have our next trade agreement available next turn, which means we're gonna start making a little bit more money because currently we are not making any. You are 14 years old. Yeah, and then Hua Landi is our wife, 29 year old. Oh, that's done well for yourself, Matan. They don't have a good relationship. She's reckless, which is me. Creative is great. Gracious is pretty good. Yeah, she's all right, but nothing fantastic. No attack from Gongdu. You want to pay me 203 bucks for that? That's definitely not worth it to me. I'm sorry. Also reminds me I should put that on my uh, my dude there. Shoot. 
Uh, challenge issue, destroyed Gongdu, right? Well, that's exactly what I want to do, to do. So, sounds good. Uh, yep, you're a normal stance, get in there. Mergy boys. Uh, I want to check also if... Oh yeah, we don't actually like each other, that's unfortunate. Pangdu doesn't like him. Well, that's too bad. You get anything special? No, we don't. Right, what have you got, by the way? You've got Stifling Deluge and Judgment, which are pretty solid. Um, right, so I'm going to give you that one and that one. Now your cunning's a little bit higher. Still not great, but so be it. And with the rest of my money, I can't build anything, so I may as well replace these guys. Now, I love these Spear Guards. And they're only 40 bucks more expensive, but I think for the moment we're kind of forced to go with... That's nah, also, is this available? Some fucking legendary character and I can't see it. Go away. Oh my god, why is this... Oh shit, there's loads of people. This guy's got better robes on. Cowardly. Nah, I'm not really interested in these people. Or this guy, I just... Although he is actually a... Um minor character that has 30 stats instead of 15. He actually looks quite good except for Cowardly. Cowardly is pretty bad because unfortunately the way it works with these guys they already have low morale to begin with because they're strategists. So that's pretty big. Uh, who else we got? We got Sufei who's just a generic dude and terrible. Shi Yi who actually has insanely good stats if he was anything other than a fucking strategist. Also starts with uh, two best things available immediately. Well, not the two best things, but the best combo of things. That one is the greatest, and you know you you go this way rather than that way. But yeah, he's not he's not really a great um, strategist, unfortunately. We've got Zhang Hong. Also, does this is that guy special? By the way, no, he's just a generic dude. You are pretty solid too. Also, have those two really good abilities available already. Mao Ji is a Nope, not a unique one either. Also starts with those set incredibly good abilities. But he's not very good because he's got Obstinate and then Liu Chong, who is level 4. I wonder where he starts. Uh, that was you. Dong Zhou, okay, fair enough. Alright, so yeah, I actually would be kind of interested in recruiting the Coward. But I don't think I will. I already have a guy that's pretty good. Although I suppose it's worth having a look. At seeing whether the, there's someone here that everyone likes. Yeah, this guy likes everyone and she likes everyone as well. Uh, you were the one who is... Yeah, got the completely wrong stats for some for a, um, a dude. And you're the one who has obstinate, which kind of makes you meh as well. So, nah, I'm sticking to this guy. He might not be the greatest, but he's alright. Uh, and he only has yeah, only has 15 stats there as well. Okay, gotcha. Cool. All right, that took way too long. Sorry about that. Still building stuff. I have got the money right to replace those units, as I was discussing earlier. Um, See, so yeah, I do really like this unit. Spear guards are good from beginning to end. They're just incredibly solid. Um, having said that, they are 40 more expensive, which isn't an insane amount. It's just kind of early on, 40 bucks is kind of a lot. But I think it might be worth just getting two of these for the moment. And then I'll recruit nothing else because I'm out of money. But yeah, I think that's fine. Just having two of those and then two more of them. And I could put them like way up front and then the other one's kind of to off the side. Off to the side even. These ones are all getting replaced with crossbowmen. I think maybe that's even better right now. Maybe that's even better. Um, I don't know. It's kind of a tough decision to make altogether, I think. Everything is costing me more money, you know. Also, these guys are hella expensive, although that's to be expected. But definitely do want to save up for those, because the fatigue immunity is just so insane. And their upkeep cost isn't even that, good, uh, that like, way better, or, like, way higher or something. It's actually not too big a deal. Um, yeah, alright, fuck it. I'm gonna... I'm gonna stick to being cheap for the moment. Not what I had in mind at all. But that's what I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna recruit a single crossbowman here. 
and then the other two are going to be trebuchets. And I guess I could go two two crossbows for them and like get two trebuchets later on because they're too expensive early on to get two of. Yeah, no, that, that's fair enough. So we'll do that, uh, which means we're making a very small amount of money right now, but that's okay. And then I'll just get two more of these next turn if I can afford to, which I sh can't actually, but we'll see. Um, oh no, I can because we're going to unlock another trade route and then we're going to trade with the Dong. So our income should increase by a little bit. He says, sweet, sweet, yes. Give me some money. Oh yeah, he's going to add a little bit onto that as well. That's not bad. 118 bucks per turn. On top of the 397 we're going to get from that. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Alright. So we're back up to 1243 bucks per turn. Which, if I'd known that, I might have actually made these dif decisions differently. But hey, you know what? Maybe I'll actually replace uh, or make the two next units these ones. That's still an option. So that's all good. Alright, look at how many uh, supplies we're getting, by the way. That's inc incredible as well. Alright, our economy grows. So now we're going to have very quick building... Uh, Availability in Wudu. Like everything's going to be a single turn. So, yeah, this is the building that replaces the garrison building essentially, and this doesn't give a garrison, but it does give public order and a bunch of other stuff. I don't think those other things are really worth all that much though. Military supplies doesn't really become a problem because of the default statistics that we have of already having incredible supplies. Plus, even if I don't have those in any other campaign, I've never had issues with supplies, like ever. So that feels like a completely wasted building, to be honest. Um, this is going to be based on uh, income from industry, because this is already the right building. So I will convert that one over, and then I guess I need to be level 4 to build any of these other things. So yeah, I guess we'll start by just converting this one over. There's not much else I can build that I currently need. So yeah, we'll start by doing that. It's not... I mean, it, it won't make me any money doing this, which kind of feels like a waste, but I also can't afford to upgrade that, so... It's kind of like, what's the point? I could basically build nothing, or I could just do something at least, right? Uh, having said that, if I don't do that, I might have the money to recruit those two extra units, so... That's a thing. Nope. I'm just shy, unfortunately. you got to level up, though. Which is completely irrelevant, but still useful. Alright, if I get this, uh, yeah, I can make you my faction, or my uh, leader in this army again, which is definitely something I do want to do. Fatigue resistance. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Fatigue resistance? Who needs it? Uh, battle running speed is pretty good for Cav, though, so, and that's also very good, so I think I'm going to skip out on this one for the moment. We already have it, it just... If I get this one, I'll, make, I'll be able to make him my leader again in this army, but there's definitely more useful things to get right now. Oh, yeah, you've got Unyielding Earth. That's pretty damn good as well, actually. And so is this. There's a lot of good stuff, stuff here that I need to get. Alright, well. we got to pick and choose. Uh, okay, so, yeah, can't afford that. Kind of, unfortunately. I can't build anything else except for just converting that over. Hmm. Do I just recruit two more of you? I don't know. I want to see, actually. Yeah, it does go there. Uh, I also want to get a trebuchet very useful early on, but also 280 bucks per turn is kind of a lot, so I don't know about that. I think we're just going to get this guy, and then I'll replace these other ones with crossbows. Slowly get everything done over time. I don't think I'm going to go on the offensive against Gongdu just yet, just simply because I don't know what he's got, and his army might be a lot bigger than mine. Might also be smaller, but I have no idea. Plus, there's a garrison in the copper mine, so currently I'm, I'm not in a rush. We're alright over here. Oh, there he is, and his army is indeed a lot bigger than mine. <laughs> I think that much is clear. Alright, what kind of garrison do we get? Eh, that's actually not terrible. Alright, so that's done. I could upgrade this further to increase my... or decrease my upkeep costs. But I think we're gonna have to spend this... Um, this money on getting some units in here. I actually think I might just get another crossbow and just give up on the trebuchet for the moment. As useful as it is, I think right now it's just not really worth it. Having said that, recruiting a single unit, we get 49 minutes, probably not worth it either. I think I'll just convert these ones over instead. 
If I can afford to, I can't. Ugh, just shy again. Alright, I we'll have one archer. Fine. He attacks the town. The annoying thing would actually be is if he sieges me out. But eh, if he does so, I don't think I take attrition right away. We have a turn before we... Yeah, we have a turn before we start taking attrition. And then, since I can't do anything else with the money, I might as well do this now. Get it over with. Get it over with. Okay. Come at me, friend. You want me to become your vassal? I'm gonna say... Mm. He did not attack me yet. He's, in, he's encamped! Okay. Well, that's unexpected. I wonder if that means he's just gonna sit there. Okay, we got that replenishment. Very useful right now. Uh, gain momentum if we hold one more settlement. Soon Jan has killed, has been killed by Huang Zhu. See you later. And what have you got? Not bad. Also, are you a legendary dude? Or minor dude, I should say. What about you? Nope. You're terrible. Uh, I don't think I care that much. Alright. Go away. Alright, so we built that. I can't upgrade it. We need to get this up to level 4. But I just don't have the money right now. However, we do have money. Alright, what's that army actually? I'm not going to attack him in encampment stance, or encampment stance either way, but okay, there's a lot of peasant stuff in there. His army is pretty below average, even for this point in the game. It's more peasant than anything else. So that's not really too worrisome, but even so... I could afford to trebuchet now. I just still don't really like the idea of paying that much upkeep right now. Uh, I think I want to get this unit replaced. Maybe I'll just... Oh, I can't actually. I was going to say, maybe I should just get some other cav, just so I have cavalry available. As much as I want to get these units... Um, free grand, just to recruit some, is actually a bit expensive. We can also get the Chang Hunters right now. Definitely be worth getting a couple of those. Um... I just don't want to pay 280 bucks per turn. I think I'm going to leave it at this. I could recruit a couple of generic sh units in this army, but I, I, no, nah, I'm going to leave it. Let me go, okay. What I will do, actually, no, yeah, this is what, something I was thinking about earlier. I will just get the crossbow now, since it looks like he might actually not be attacking me. So I'm just going to wait. Oh, he, what? He was ambushing, and then, but he's in encampment stance. How does that work? Uh, right, we need to build the building. That sounds good. Anything else we can do? No peace. Non-aggression pact with you is still on the table, but I don't think I want that. Plus, I can't get anything out of it, so it's just not worth it to me right now. Okay, please come and attack me. Uh, I could build this for some money right now, and I can just remove it again when I'm moving out. Not a bad idea. 80 bucks per turn. I'm not going to be building anything else here until I upgrade this to level 2, so you know what? As long as I'm here and I'm keeping the town happy from the garrison, I'm actually okay with that. Oh. Alright, Gongdu, come and attack me, please. Damn it. He's just gonna sit there. Uh, no. I really don't want to attack him in encampment stance. I have no way to burn down his towers. I even got rid of Well, I didn't have fire arrows to begin with, but I even if I had, it wouldn't have helped. I don't have, even if I recruit a, um, a trebuchet in here, I still don't have flaming boulder, so that wouldn't help me either. So we're kind of just at an impasse, it seems. Although I'm slowly making money, and he's going to be running out of supply. Well, he's encamped, so I guess he doesn't, but he's not going to replenishing, and I'm replenishing. So over time, this will work out fine for me. It just might take a little bit longer than I would have liked to. This guy's actually not bad. But I don't need him. Get ourselves a builder. Fantastic. We built that real tax collection. Uh, ooh, yeah, it's minus eight from hostile forces. That's a thing. So it's actually pretty unhappy right now. <laughs> um, he was already there last turn. Why wasn't it that unhappy last turn? I'm not sure. Maybe we ran out of the uh, bonus we got earlier. Okay, I think we just get some regular calf. Just to have calf available, more than anything. Um, I mean, the problem will still be that I, if as long as he's in encampment stance, I do not want to attack him. 
I could just move out of the town and... I don't know, it's right an ambush, but I don't think I can even get out of the town. I literally can't go this way for <laughs> nine turns to get there, because I run all the way around. Um, yeah, we are actually at an impasse here. There's no way he's going to move away if I attack him, right? Nah, I doubt it. I could try and like move back and then go into ambush stance, like behind my town. I guess that's a thing I could do. I lose the mustering bonus, but... Oh no, I don't, because I'm still in range of the town. Hey, look at that. Let's just try it out. I don't know, maybe it'll work, maybe not. It's worth a try, I suppose. Uh, this place is going to get... Okay, let's, let's just get rid of that right away. <laughs> it may be... I don't even know if it may be the money this turn, but either way, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, I'm not going to recruit anything. I want to save up for these guys. It's just... They're too good. We just got to make sure we kill this army somehow, and then we're fine. I don't know. Having some cow would be useful as well. But it also costs me a lot of money, and I'll be making less money per turn. I think I'm just going to save it for the moment. We could always choose to get one next turn if I wanted to. All right, do it. Attack the town or run into my ambush. One of the two things. Hey, look at that. Fantastic. All right. So we got ourselves an ambush. To be fair, it is Gongdu, Zhang Kai, and Zhu He. I should know these names. I'm still playing with this faction right now. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be the easiest battle. But it should be pretty fun anyway, despite it being an ambush. Also, our reinforcements won't, of course, show up for the next first three minutes, so can't really rely on those. But hey, at least our tactic worked. I am, however, going to end this episode here. We're going to do that battle next time, so it should be a pretty interesting uh, start of the second episode. Um, this is something I haven't done for a long time, but uh, yeah, I did it on the other first episode, so I'm going to do it again now. If you somehow haven't got Free Kingdoms yet, but are interested in purchasing it, Please consider using the link at the top of the description. Uh, it will guide you to the two game store, which is an affiliate, uh, or sorry, an official retailer of which I am an affiliate. Um, you can get the game cheaper than on Steam, you still get a Steam key. Uh, if you use my code SMARTDONKEY at checkout, you get an extra 10% off as well. And the bloody blue. So thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed. Next time we're going to mess up Gongdu, hopefully. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.